Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a responsive modal from scratch using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, I have the code available in CodePen, and I'll link it in the description below so you guys can reference it at any point. Here, we just have a button that will be triggered whenever you click on it, and it'll open the modal. And we have a close button here that will close the modal. So I'll show you how to create this in Visual Studio Code from scratch. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have my files created in Visual Studio Code, and I have an extension that I'm using called Live Server. If you guys don't have this, I highly recommend that you guys download it so that we, you guys can follow along. So let's get our HTML going. So I'm going to uh, use Emmet abbreviation. So if I do Shift One, it'll show the exclamation point. If you hit Enter, it'll show the H. It'll generate the HTML. So in the title, we'll just do modal. And let's open this with, let's right click and open this with Live Server. Okay, so in our body, we're going to have, I'm going to be using HTML semantics. So I'm going to have a main tag. In our main tag, we're going to have an H2 that'll say modal. And then we'll have a button that'll say open modal. And in the button, we'll have an ID of open modal. And then we're going to have a section, which will be the modal container. So let's give this a class of modal container. And inside the section, we're going to have the actual content itself. So we're going to name this modal content. And in the section, we can put whatever we want. So here we're just going to have an H2 that'll say modal title. Then we're going to have a p tag and we're going to generate some lorem ipsum text so if i do lorem ipsum it should generate some text and there you go and the last thing we want to do is create a button that will go inside the modal and we're going to put in uppercase x and we'll give this a an id of close modal so that's it for the html uh, let's link the css in the uh, JavaScript file. So I'm going to link the style sheet. And then I'm going to link the script tag right underneath the main tag, right uh, before the body ending tag. So you can have script source index.js. So let's jump into the CSS. So here we're going to do modal container. So that's what we want to style first. So we're going to give this a display. And by default, we want to give this none. But actually for now, we just want to do display block so we can see what's going on. Um, we're going to give this a background color of, and we're going to give it opacity. So we're going to do 0, 0, 0, 0 0.7 for the opacity. And then we're going to give this a position of fixed. And we're going to do top is equal to zero and left is equal to bottom. So it's at the top and left and it's uh, taking the whole, uh, so we want to take the whole span of the web page. So the way we can do that is give it a height of 100% and a width of 100%. And the last thing we want to do is give it a Z index of one. So we want the modal to be in front of whatever is being displayed currently in the web page. And we can do that by say, uh, giving Z index of one property. So now let's do modal content. And let's give this a background color of, of a light gray. And let's give it some padding of 10 pixels. And let's give this a border radius of four pixels. And then we can uh, give it a width of 70%. And this property is basically what will make the modal responsive. And we'll give this a margin of 15% top and bottom and auto left and right. So it's center left and right. And we, we're going to have a 15% from the top. Okay, so 
that should be it for that. Uh, now we're gonna style the button, the close button. So we give that an ID of close modal, and we want the background to be transparent. We want the border. We don't want any border, so we'll do border none. And we don't want any outline when for when the button is clicked. And we're gonna uh, float right. We want it on the right side, and that should be it. Uh, that's it for the CSS. Let's jump into the JavaScript. So the JavaScript is pretty simple. We want to grab... Okay, before I do that, um, I forgot to change this back to none. So now we don't want to actually show it. So we want to grab the open modal button. So we'll do open modal is equal to document.getElementById equal to uh, set to open modal and we also want to grab the modal container so we're going to do document.query selector because we gave it a class name of modal container and then we also want to grab the close button modal in the modal so we're going to do close modal is equal to document that get element by ID set to close modal okay so now what we want to do is attach an on click function uh, function handler event handler uh, to open modal and close modal and open modal we're gonna do so we're, for open modal we're gonna do on click is equal to function and in the function we're going to do modal dot style oh that style dot display and we're going to just set it equal to block so that the modal will appear and then we want to do close modal the same thing except we want to make it disappear so we're going to do display is equal to none so modal dot style dot display is equal to none so now you guys will see if we open it and close it. Oh, um, in the close modal button, let's give this a cursor of pointer. So there you go. And this is also responsive. So if I, yep. So yeah, there it is, guys. Um, that's all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys uh, gained something out of it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.